Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. We're going to be jumping in today and I want to play as Mastema. It's been ages since we played as him. I'm pretty sure we have him unlocked at this point. I swear I've st stealing, stolen a devil deal at this point. So let's just go ahead and get in. Because this is, Mastema is definitely one of my favourite characters. I think he just lends himself to that risk-reward playstyle, both in his tainted version and non-tainted. The risk-reward aspect is really strong. And I absolutely love that in pretty much any game. Um, and so, having it more amped up in Isaac, that already has quite a lot of risk-reward, to be fair, um, is pretty nice. I mean, another thing that I'm quite looking forward to... Um, ooh, duct tape is fine, I guess. It's not something super useful right now, but it's fine. Um, something I'm definitely looking forward to because of that is uh, the 2.0 update of Revita. I actually did play Revita a little bit on the channel. Um, I was hoping it'd get kind of big, but unfortunately the game just kind of fell by the wayside for a lot of people, I think. I don't know if it's because people didn't like the game or just because it was kind of a little bit not known very well, but I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think the 2.0 update is going to be really crazy for that game. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing it again. And I'll probably bring it back to the channel. Um, oh God, the slow down here. I'll probably bring it back to the channel at least for a little bit um, and see if it has any renewed interest uh, because I just want to play it more and um, we'll have a video slot for it. Um, I've kind of got the Risk of Rain 2 slot uh, at the minute that I can kind of swap out at any point because I'm liking that series. Both Risk of Rain 2 and Peglin are kind of my open slots where I, I basically I'm playing them until something different that I want to play comes along. Like, I was kind of considering playing the new DLC for uh, Dead Cells instead of um, instead of Risk of Rain 2 for a few weeks. If, if people want to see that, let me know and I can certainly consider it. Because um, the Return to Castlevania DLC just came out and it seems pretty interesting. I've look, looked up some of the uh, reviews of it and it seems, it seems pretty good. Okay, don't steal my charges, please. I would be distraught. Okay, um... Devil's Tooth isn't amazing. I'm going to go for the gamble. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. I was going to say, I'm going to go for the gamble and go for the two-heart deal in case it's like a brimstone or something. I didn't even think about the fact that money equals power is a, um, is a two-heart deal. But honestly, the potential of getting up to, I think it's four or five damage. Is it? I don't, I don't know what the maximum is. It's either four or six when you're at max money in terms of how much you end up getting overall. Um, but either way, it's, it's a good amount and... Obviously, the amount of damage you get early on is kind of it kind of scales pretty well. Um, but yeah, so I, I always have sort of the opportunity to switch out games. I mean, uh, Peglin and Risker in two are definitely like the main two because they're ones that I just kind of play. I'm, I'm just kind of playing them because I'm enjoying them right now. They don't get a ton of views, um, but they uh, they're just fun to play. So I, I play them, and they have kind of a, especially Peglin has kind of a dedicated audience. There's quite a few of you out there that really seem to enjoy the Peglin videos, so I enjoy, uh, like, carrying on playing it. Honestly, Callus is probably better for us at this point. Um, I enjoy playing it because of that. Uh, as with the question of the day today, um, I'm not entirely sure on a good one, to be honest. Um, if, if you could hire someone to do one task in your life, what would that task be? If it, if it was someone that would just do everything, like, in that task for you. So, if it was, like, a personal chef that did all of your cooking. Or, like, um, someone that did all your taxes if you're in America. Or any, anything like that. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm glad I'm in the UK and don't have to deal with doing taxes. Also, these guys are a nightmare. Yeah, these guys are an absolute nightmare. Um, but what would that be for you? Okay, I'm very happy with this item here. Very, very nice. Right, we keep her going. We'll go normal path here and um, just keep on keeping on. Because uh, someone recently posted something in my Discord about this, about like having a personal chef. I honestly can't think of anything uh, I'd want less. Oh, dudes. Wh why do the flies move like this? I hate it. They have that weird sort of glitchy, not, I won't say glitchy, but like, where they bounce off walls like that. Fucking stop bouncing off the damn walls. Um, yeah, like, um, talking about having a personal chef, and I was just like, just so not interested in that. I really enjoy cooking, so having a personal chef just seems like terrible, because that means, I mean, they probably make some really banging food, but you don't get to make any of your own food, really, and I like doing that. So that would be a little bit sad. Okay. 
It's always nice when you like enter a enter a double size room while you have only like two charges left on your active, so you can get the full benefit of the double charge room. It's nice. All right, good, good. Oh, there was a lucky penny in there that I didn't see to start with. Dudes, bouncing off the fucking walls. It's so frustrating. Like, enemy gets close to a wall and just bonks off of it. And now we can't goddamn afford a devil deal on this floor, which is horrible. Right. Hopefully, we can get another charge or something. Um, balls! How did that not blow up that goddamn tinted rock? Fuck me. Oh, that's so annoying. I, I really thought that was going to hit it. I think I managed to like bounce it off the wall just enough to make it not hit it, which is depressing in a major way. Okay, don't get hit by this guy. We do have a morbid heart, which definitely helps, but still. Okay, nice. Right. Still can't really do anything with this yet. Um, okay, I was really glad this is a combat room because it means that I can, uh, as long as I don't get hit, I can get a red heart to do a devil deal trade, which I'd very much like to do. Good. Good, good. Ooh. Yes, potentially a lot better. Also, walking around the spikes while I have callus. I'm like dodging, dip diving, and ducking between these spikes. I have callus. You fool. Um, yeah, I like the fact that we can break open locks with, uh, with bombs. Right, let's try and not get hit here. I would like to use my bombs on this guy, but now that I can use them as keys, I kind of don't want to do that. So I'm gonna refrain. Monstro isn't that bad. It is like the, the two-thirds room size, though, which definitely makes him a little more tricky. Oh, for four... The goddamn sky throw shots are really hard to predict where they're going to land. That's definitely something that I feel like Isaac does really poorly. Um, and it's, it's never really been addressed by any mods or anything. Is Well, it's been addressed by some, but not a lot. Is like... Ooh, this is very nice. Um, so we'll pop that. We'll do that. The way that the game handles... Um, handles tiers that are like have an arc to them. Um... I, I definitely want this. We can also use this as well, but honestly, don't really have the health for it. I am I know it's a gamble, but I am going to go and check out my item room. I know, obviously, I don't really have the health to make this work. I'm going to try it anyways. We have more bombs than keys, so I'm using bombs there. Blood rights, of course, isn't something I really want to use. Do I gamble on the three-hearter? Let's, let's just gamble. Why not? Rotten Baby is honestly perfectly reasonable. Pretty happy with that. We'll take this as well and hope for the best. And let's get gone. Okay. Very pleased with how things are going thus far. Health is definitely in a rocky place and I'm a little bit sad to have lost my morbid heart. But otherwise, the items we've gained so far are pretty good. I think we can double bomb these. Yes, we can, lovely. That's exactly what I was hoping for, a good amount of money. And yeah, um, the, the pinhead, I honestly don't really care that much about the ability to tie enemies together. I way more so care about the fact that it gives you the chance to fire a piercing tier. Uh, the, the, the tying enemies together thing, it's nice, but it doesn't come into play that often. The piercing, however, is really, really good. But yeah, um, having the, the, the padlock bomb thing here, really damn good. And it is kind of nice that uh, with with the piercing that uh, with the like tying enemies together, it just kind of happens randomly. It's not, not something we need to force. Also, people keep reminding me to delete those goddamn fires. I'll try at one point, but my brain is small, incredibly feeble and small. Um, is that a red heart? It is a red heart. Okay. <laughs> goddamn these flies. Nothing in there for us. Right, keep this train a moving. Keep this train a going. But yes, enjoying my mass demo run so far. It's very fun. 
it's kind of weird to have a run where treasure room items are just kind of not something you really see. There are obviously ways to get them, but they're, they're just so much rarer. You're playing basically with just the devil pool, which means it's a lot more limited. Okay, this is a good room to set up our... Uh... Yeah, there you go. Should deal that multi-damage. So easy to set up in that in that position there. Ooh, I see you, I see you, I see you. Um, But yeah, I, I definitely think... I, I've spoken about it probably too much in the past, but I really do think that more roguelike games need risk-reward. Um, Enter the Gungeon is like my perfect example of one that's just doesn't have anywhere near enough. It has some very light risk reward, and I obviously, I still love the game regardless, but goddamn, for end game, like players, people that have put hundreds, if not thousands of hours into the game, like myself, um, there's just not enough risk reward to play the vanilla game. Now, modders have done a pretty good job at, at injecting like a decent amount of risk reward, so that definitely helps, but even still, in that re in that regard, they're not always the best because the ga the base game doesn't really have systems in place to support it. So they kind of some of them are a, a little bit hack jobs, um, and they just kind of they, they they do work, but not not the best. Um, we've still got more bombs than we have keys, so I'll, I'll bomb this. Fettered Heart. Actually, Fettered Heart plus Pinhead might be really, really good. Also, this is only one Soul Heart. Jeez. Okay, unfortunately, Little Fiend isn't that good, but he's decent. Greg the Egg. Greg the Egg. I could I could hug you, Greg. That was lucky that Mushroom didn't uh, do some nasty shit to me. But the mixture of Fettered plus uh, Pinhead being able to rope enemies together seems really interesting, because Fettered... If an enemy's fettered, dealing damage to it deals damage to everything. And if they're pinned together, it deals damage to every enemy that's pinned. So, could be really interesting. Also, just enough rooms on this floor to make sure we get a prayer card usage before we leave the floor. Which is, oh, for fuck's sake, which is really nice. Okay, at least uh, Little Fiend here is producing some babies that are going to do some good damage. It depends how many he produces to how useful it ends up being. But it's it's decent nonetheless. Right, prayer card, good, good. A little bit of a speed upgrade, and we head on our way, <laughs> on our merry merry way. Yeah, things are looking pretty good so far. So yeah, fettered enemies. Oh god. Us pinning them together. It's good stuff. Troll bomb. Excuse me. Bit rude. This guy's going to split into multiple, but the pin shot should, yeah, pretty much instantly put an end to that. I guess I'll carry a chariot card. Carry a chariot. Oh my god, that's weird to say. Yeah, okay. So it does work how I thought. Basically, if we pin a fettered enemy to another enemy, dealing damage to the one that it's pinned to still triggers the fettered damage. That, that's that's pretty interesting. That's a kind of unique, um, unique pairing of things there. I like that. I need to get back to do some challenges at some point. I've got so many modded challenges that I haven't touched yet that have unlocks. Uh, mainly the Fiend Folio ones that I should really get on with. I'm sure there's some really good unlocks out there. I'm hoping we get more money at some point here so we can uh, have a play around with money equals power doing, doing us some good stuff. Yeah, nothing there for us. I need to remember that shops are pretty use useless, which does mean that money equals power is a lot, lot better than it otherwise would be for us, because we're not really, like, we don't really have many places to spend our money apart from maybe, like, beggars and such. Oh, for God's sake. It's a really bad hit. I was focusing on the, uh, the twisty boys, these guys, rather than the one that shoots directly at me, and just completely missed it shooting at me. Oh, lovely bit of damage there. Let's get in on this boss. Don't know how useful the chariot's going to end up actually being here. Not very. Get that bloody enemy out from behind you, you shithead. <laughs> so annoying. Right. Another hard fight against you. HP, it's it's not the best item to get, but it is kind of the thing that we're utilizing to, uh, to get our devil deals, so I don't mind it. This looks like secret room to me. 
Milk of Baphomet? I mean, it gives us a heart to pick it up, so it's literally free. Um, not bad. Randomly trigger different on-hit effects when we're hit. I kind of like that. Works pretty well for us. Just go back to try and find the item room now, because I'm not quite sure where it is. We also, to be fair, want to be doing all the runes we can, just because, um, get more charges, get our prayer card going. Kind of, kind of a necessity to keep that health as high as we can keep it. Don't really care for pills this run. I realise that I'm, I'm pretty inconsistent on when I take pills and when I don't. Um, I, I don't really have a specific logic as to when I take pills. I just kind of know when it feels right and know when I don't want to take them. We'll check this out. Hello. Oh, my bomb's gone. I'm not going to sleep in the bed because, for one, I just don't need it right now. But also, um, ooh, hello. When taking damage, you may shout the heads and knock back enemies. I was going to an increasing damage boost for, um, for having lower total health. Requires having fewer than six hearts to trigger the effect. The damage boost is not active while Holy Mantle is active. Okay. Get a bit of a damage boost for being low on health. I don't mind that. Uh, but basically, my, my logic here is if I can manage to trade away three hearts um, in my item room somehow, then I can um, I can come back and get sleep on the the bed to gain three soul hearts. So not bad, not bad. Right. <laughs> Molten dime is of course just fantastic. Um, and we get a golden demon baby out of it. Intriguing indeed. Okay. Yeah, Molten Dime is absolutely amazing. Of course, the fact that it costs HP to use does make it quite risky. So it's not something I'm going to use all the time. But yeah, now that we've got Conjoined and all these little familiars going on, pretty happy with that. Prayer card usage again, especially before we leave the floor. We don't want to be um, wasting our money here. Try and keep our money high, why not? It's all damage in the bank. Also, we, I think we got an increased damage up from lowering our max HP there um, from that skull-based item that we just received. Pretty interesting that I managed to get a golden item. Still, my opinions are that the golden items are way too common. I hope they, they do get reduced at some point. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't be seeing one or two every single run. I should be seeing one every three or four runs, really. Um, in my opinion. It makes them more special. Good stuff. It's going to be easier to pin things together now with, with having multiple shots going out, multiple pins. Probably a secret room there, but we can't get into that yet. Now, my usage of um, of Molten Dime is going to be a little bit more sparse than usual, just because I don't really have the health to support it. But I do want to try and use it on things that I otherwise wouldn't be taking. For example, if I come across uh, an item room that I can't afford any of the Devil Deals in, I might as well use it to try and get something extra out of it. Slightly annoying room here, but we got through it. Sadly, still no bombs. We've got tons of keys now, but our bombs are all gone. Should have been using the keys the whole time, I guess. My bad. What up, sloth? How it be? Sadly, nothing good there. Hoping for a few more Tinted Rocks this floor to carry us over, but you never know. Okay, he wasn't bad at all. Extra bit of money there. It's not a lot of damage, but it's some. Oh, I managed to kill that guy. Okay. Wasn't expecting to have killed him, but there you go. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works for me. Right, back we go, back we go. I want to find my item room first this time around. I love getting conjoint this early on. Hey, there's a tinted rock. Um, 
Unfortunately, this is a slightly annoying room. That I'm not gonna say it's super likely I'll get hit on, but okay, now I'm fine now. Stars card. I'm I'm probably just gonna pop that. I don't have a bomb. God damn it! I'm just gonna pop the stars card. That's really really nice. And then this. Damn it. That was the gamble that I that I was unsure whether I should take or not, but it worked. It didn't work out for us, but it's fine. There's a tinted rock back this way anyways. Let's not fret. We got a red heart anyways here. Right, again, do all the rooms that we can. Ooh, we got one of those hearts here. Um, if I get another bomb, I'll go for that. But otherwise, that's a little bit uh, hard to make the decision on right now. Yeah, them, them empty hearts are pretty good. We just unlocked those. Basically, if we keep one at the end of a floor, um, we get a, a locust, which is pretty damn good. There's the extra bomb. Okay, so. I think we gotta go boom, bow. Destroy you. Grab that. And we should be able to grab this without using the machine. Yeah, there you go. We, we, we've got to, like, keep it alive now, so I probably should have left it to grab it until a little bit later on, but... What's happened has happened. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm really glad I took the rift. The rift is proving to be very useful for us. I'm honestly going to do this as well. Even with the chance of losing my uh, heart that I just gained. That was very close. Okay. And that gave us another heart there. Prop could have afforded the actual uh, devil deal that was available now. The two heart or one, but... Oh, well. So many keys. What the hell? Teeth, whatever it's called. Tithe. I can't remember how to pronounce it. You have told me before, but... My brain is like a sieve. Right. Push forward. Let's watch this copper bomb fail to blow this up. At least get a skull in there as well. Why not? And actually worked. Nice. Adjustment's pretty good here because we need bombs. Oh, tokens have appeared. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what they are, but I'll take it. Righty her then. Let's do the boss. Boss really shouldn't be too difficult here. It's a it's slightly annoying boss. Um Just because of all the bloody white blocks blocking ourselves from dealing damage. God damn it. Oh my god, I lost the goddamn heart. This boss is bullshit. I just don't like the white blocks. Really inconvenient in this fight. Very annoying. Just get out of here. You're already dead, you goober. What's going on right now? What is actually happening? Why are you not dead? There you go. God damn it, I lost my empty vessel heart. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess I'll go straight Devil Deal here, because that's where we've been going in the past. There's Brimstone. I could try and duplicate it, but I'm just going to take Brimstone. Obviously, a little on the risky side in terms of my current HP situation. But I ain't scared. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Now, we can bomb this open if we want to go that way. Like in the setup. Right, we're going to need uh, a prayer card usage as soon as possible because that will give us an extra hit. Nice. We can take this because it won't be a health down. And we might as well check this out. There's no harm in that. Fortunately, not very good, and that is a a regular item there, not a not a thingy item. You know what I mean. Unfortunately, now our pin shot isn't super useful. I mean, we kept we do still pin enemies together, but the piercing obviously now is gone. But I mean, that's just just because we've inherited it, so it's not that bad. 
We do also have very good damage on this low HP, which is kind of nice. This is Necro too. We don't want to go for the boss quite yet. Right. Away we go. Got a hangman card in the side there in case we need... Oh my fuck, he did not come out the wall where I thought he would. Let's get the shit out of me. Extra penny for me. Beautiful. Let's try those little teeth there as well. Check this out. Not so good. I mean, I suppose I could use my Molten Dime here. I'm just a little worried about our current HP, but I should maybe be using it on shops a little more often. But my, my, my current HP just does not support that idea. Really. Right, let's clear out the rest of the rooms here. For God's sake, those, these enemies like that spawn on death take so long to spawn. Arcade, potentially. There is a um, a grabber machine, a crane machine, but not super useful for us right now because that's just a lot of damage to lose. I'd rather not lose the damage there. Another big boy. Another big boy. I'm gonna guess this one over here as well. There is. Good, good. And we should be able to get another um, prayer card charge here. This, this one room will give us a charge. And there you go, we got another room here anyways. Dude, there's a lot of these things on this floor, wow. Good, good. good. Yeah, I, I could do the thing with a shop, and I realize it's my last shop to give it a go on. But I just don't think it's necessary right now. I think we're just gonna go. I guess I'll take this instead of the hanged man. And use it on the boss fight and see if it does anything good for me. <sighs> Maybe I should just use it in here. Yeah, there you go. I'm happy enough with that. I'm happy enough with that idea. Gives us a little bit extra. It's fiendish, Mum. Sticking all of our segments together does a good amount of damage there. Right. Let's get gone. And our health is looking pretty darn good, to be honest. Oh, we keep the fiendish hunter dude with us. The, the Psy hunter. I thought he was just for the room. Good to know that he lasts for multiple rooms, because I should be using those cards a lot more often than I normally do. doing a decent job right now. I mean, look at that. It's just slicing and dicing. And he applied that, like, de-armor effect, whatever you want to call it, as well. God damn, we've got an absolute train behind us right now. Now, these are the floors where I'm probably not going to be so bothered about min-maxing completing every room. Just because completing every room on the womb is just... Ugh. Oh, also, a prayer card only gives half soul hearts now. I forgot about that. Yeah, they, they changed it so that once you get to this floor, it can't give you red hearts anymore. Because you've got no real place to spend them apart from actual devil deals, it would make it so that you could get to a really, really high HP very, very easily. So it's a very good idea to get rid. Um, I might take White Pony. I'm not entirely sure here. Um... I'm going to go with the angel deal here because I, I want to do something. So, Celestial Berry, I don't particularly care about, I'll be honest. It's decent, but for two hearts, I don't think it's what I want. Instead, I'm going to do this and hope for the best. Unfortunately, I failed. And now that we are unlikely to get many devil deals and stuff, I'm going to take this. And this is kind of why I wasn't so bothered about the berry, because I knew I was going to get flight from here anyways. Um, so getting flight per room from the Celestial Berry is just not that useful. Um, I 
rather go with this. Because the, the pony, the flight is obviously ace. The speed up is kind of nice. But then the actual active itself and the abilities that it has, pretty darn good. Right. Unfortunately, wrong way to start, which is always the way of the womb. Imagine if that's how it worked in real life. Baby has to actually navigate its way out of the womb, and you could just go the wrong way. Whoops. Baby has entered the stomach. My brain goes to strange places sometimes. I mean, with 16 keys, do we really need to bother here? Oh, we can probably do Hush, actually. I didn't really think about Boss Rush or Hush, to be honest. I should have gone for Boss Rush, but I can definitely do Hush. Which might have been a good reason to keep Molten Dime, but I stick by my decision. This boy rolling. That's a morbid heart right there. I would very much like to take that. Good bit of damage. As our health is going up, our damage is going down. So it's kind of a weird one. We're kind of balancing it out with money equals power. But I would like an actual damage up as well. Like a, a flat damage up. That would be quite nice at this point. Shouldn't be too hard of a fight here. Should really get Little Brim in on this as well if I can. Takes a little bit longer to charge, but he does do really good damage, so... Okay. Hushy, me boy. Give it a go. It's been a while since I fought a Hush, actually. It's been quite a while. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this. This should give us more money than we put into it. Didn't. Did give us a Dice Shard, though, which isn't bad. Oh, we got another dice shard. Okay. Um, dice shard. Yes. And I don't know how this would work with Brimstone, because it seems like it could be really, 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 really good if it actually gives Herming after seven frames, but I don't think it will, so I'm just going to take this. And it means I get to keep my morbid heart, so. Right. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm hoping that our, um, what they're called, our, our void portal bloody things, not void portal, you know what I mean. Um, Rifts. I hope our Rifts do a good job at keeping his tears at bay. Whenever they trigger, that is. Unfortunately, they're not triggering when I want them to. I always forget the first phase is way harder of this guy now. It's an actual boss fight rather than just some static motherfucker. Might as well get one of them on him to start the fight out. Why not? But yeah, all the Lurkers should be pretty darn good. Um... My, my little dudes that spawned by the fiendish fella hopefully will stack up. I don't know how many a maximum pair of room. They might be, it might just be two or he might just keep spawning them. I don't really know. Very bad hit there. At least we get some damage for it. Okay, no, there's, okay, no, there's, there's still only two. I don't know if he can spawn any more than two. We'll see. Oh, we got the spider from um, the intruder for uh, our milk of Baphomet hit, which is pretty nice. Because it's technically an on-hit effect. Pretty nice to have that. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be a reasonably lengthy fight. Who you call a pinhead? Eh, maybe not. If we get the pinheads going again... Okay, I need to get into a position here because I'm not anywhere good. I'm hoping if worse comes to worse that our morbid heart saves us. I think what's going on is the rifts are kind of fucking with the tier patterns and causing some shenanigans. Okay, no, there is three of these guys now. So he is spawning... More and more. Yeah, whenever we whenever we hit the 
the pin. Oh my god, that does so much damage to him. So, him summoning things is like the best possible way for us to deal really high damage. So, let's, let's let them all spawn. Yeah, and <laughs> it just insta-kills him. That's something I wouldn't have expected. Um, unlock the life dice. I'm gonna go Delirium. I'm gonna take the risk and go Delirium. I think it could be more fun. Um, I feel like the run... While the health isn't great, I feel like the run is capable of a Delirium uh, win, so I'm going to try it out. Goddamn ghosty boys. Ghosty boys! Ooh, smelt a random trinket onto me. Hell yes. Pinky eye, there you go, a bit poison, why not? Pinky eye for a white guy. Also, we should definitely be using our prayer card when we get the opportunity here. I've been forgetting that. That's not a way that we can go. But yeah, I'm, re I'm reckoning we're going to get like probably four or five hearts. Maybe, f probably not five. Probably like four hearts out of our prayer card here. Something along those lines. Get out of here trying to lump onto me. Lovely. Don't like how how much damage you're taking right now. God damn. I'm forever to kill you. What the hell? This guy was in his changing phase and just fucking... Absorbed all that damage. Okay, nice. Oh, there's a spider stuck on that bit there. We got a deceiver heart in this room somewhere. I don't know where. What the hell's the deceiver heart? Okay. It has deceived me in the fact that it's no longer in this room. Wiggly boy? I mean, that's actually probably better right now because it's a bit of a fire rate up. Also, kind of makes it easier to hit more of the room. And it just looks cool. So, it's a win, 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 win. Our first boss here. It's just mum's heart. Oh, the timing on that was so poor by me then. Why did I think that I could do that and get away with it? Okay, it's getting to the point now where unfortunately little Brim doesn't charge near uh, anywhere near fast enough to be useful. We're going to put out way more damage if we just ignore little Brim, so I'm sorry my little lad. Um, Dice shard it. Eh. The compass is nice, but just not all that good. It was a hit so much of the room like this is so good for the pin shots. Where the hell are you? Okay, there you are. Keep it going. This is beautiful. Burn heart, maybe? Sadly, no burn heart. I didn't realize this, the, those little... Blood spewer things could spawn on mushrooms. That's kind of interesting. Hey, there's some of the health we're looking for. Health is looking real fine right now. Did okay damage. Devil, I don't think Devil's Dagger works with, um, oh no it does, I was going to say I don't think it works with um, Brimstone, but it just fires extra on top of. So we can try and level up the Devil's Dagger to get some good stuff going. Okay, we've unfortunately hit the Delirium fight quite early. It's not terribly bad, especially if you spawn more things that we can latch onto you. I wouldn't mind that at all.
I was hoping I could level up my Devil's Dagger a little bit before fighting you, but it is what it is, I guess. Even the fucking version of him with no boss arm, we're not really doing that much damage to. I mean, 8.4 damage, even with Brimstone, really isn't that good. Anything that's got segments is like our true target, I think. It's going to be a fairly long fight, I think. I mean, it's going to be less long if he stays in that form, but... I don't find Delirium that bad anymore. I used to, like, I, I still think he's a pretty terribly designed boss and really needs a, a solid rework. But I don't find him anywhere near as bad as I used to. I think that's partially due to just, like, mods and making him better. Um, like the... Did he heal there? Or have I just done, like, very... Oh, no, no, he did. He did. He's back, up, he's back to the health he should be at now, though. I say his health bar looked crazy high then. I was like, what the hell's this? I think just learning about this, where he he has no boss armor on this phase, is, like, super valuable knowledge, for one. But then also just, like, having that mod that tells you when he's off-screen um, is really, really nice. Like, tell you, tells you where he actually is, so you're not spending most of your fight just trying to find him anymore. I think that was one of the biggest things. He, he telefragged you so often because you were basically spending most of the fight just trying to figure out where the fuck he was. Also, I just think my dodging abilities have gotten better. Like, I'm not going to say that I won't dodge, uh, that I'll dodge every single shot, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job at, um, at dodging the majority of things now. Yeah. Who you call a pinhead? Look at the look at the fucking physics on that rope there. Now things are slow going here, but I think we I think we've got this in the bag. Especially if he turns into regular form a few more times, which I'm sure he will. Okay, he did the glitchy thing again where his health looks high, but it's not. I didn't really do as much damage as I was hoping with linking them together. It helped, though. Ow. Kind of bonked him away. <laughs> Get out of here. It's the goddamn speed boosts that everything gets that fucks me off. Everything gets so fast lit later on. That was a telefrag there. Gotta admit, with things getting so speedy, I'm a little bit lost on what's going on, I'll be honest. But we've just about got him here, and I think we've got not much to worry about, regardless of being two hits away from death. There you go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that lovely little Delirium Mass Demo run. A very quick Delirium run, to be honest. Normally they're over an hour, but this one, we tidied up pretty fast. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.